Yo, what's going on guys? Garen is currently a top 10 mid laner, so I'm going to be showing you how to carry on him in the mid lane. We have Phase Rush, Nimbus, Celerity, Gathering, with Conditioning, Overgrowth, Double AD, and a Resistance up against Katarina. Not a bad matchup at all. Garen takes time to scale. You really want to make it to level 6. At 6, you can solo most of your matchups. Your R has crazy true damage, and it's an Execute, so just a simple auto QE, or QE into R, and they get shredded down. Your E shreds armor, and obviously we can spin, move at the same time, pretty mobile. Q is a speed up and it cleanses slows. And our W is a bunch of damage reduction and tenacity. So it's the best to use your W when you're about to get damage blown. So like right when Cata pops her R, or right when Morgana Snare is about to hit me if I can't dodge it, that's when we'll pop it. Level 1, we'll see what Cata starts. I assume she's going to start Q, so I'll just start my Q. If she was going to start her jump, I'd probably just start E, so if she jumps on me, I could spin her all the way down. We're going to be looking to go for Stride Breaker, Hold Breaker, into Dead Man's, or if we're really ahead, we'll go Stride Breaker, Hold Breaker, into Phantom Dancer for the crit and movement speed. Auto into Q, we're chilling. We have a lot more regeneration than her through our passive, so if we can take some kind of short and scrappy trades, it'll be pretty beneficial. Go with an auto and a Q. Phase rush away, and we don't want to miss too much CS. Golden XP is super important on this champ. All right, she's level two. We got chill. Oh, hey, Shaco. <laughs> nice gank, bud. Got our E now. I don't think he's going to come back mid here. He's only two camps. I'll just hit her with the Q and run back. If she jumps, I'll press E. Very, very solid trade for us. Ooh, caught her on the back end. We have 175 auto range. She probably has 125, 150 at most. Oh, that's not good. Auto into QE. Phase rush away. Your Q is an auto reset, so to auto QE, it's a really efficient way of using our phase rush because we need three separate attacks. Passive's on, we're healing up. Get with the QE, don't really want to miss it. We got the cannon, <laughs> missed a couple of the range of minions. All right, she's actually dead here if she steps back up. I'll pop my potion, she popped hers. She's down some CS, that's really good. She should also have less XP since uh, Shaco showed his face mid. We'll go for the E Max first. Get that extra damage. She throws her dagger. I, my passive's on, I'm healing so much right now. I'd actually rather avoid her daggers in the time being. Got the QEW. I'll ghost for this. It seems a little awkward to ghost, but if I don't, I'll just take way more damage and possibly die. What is this guy doing? Okay, he's got his little move. Yeah, if I didn't ghost, Shaco would have permanently held his slow on me. I wouldn't really be able to get away. My Q cleanses slows, but he's already kind of on top, so it is what it is. I think I can actually kill her here with an auto QE. Maybe not. It's tough because I don't want to die and trade gold with her necessarily. I feel like Shaco's here. She's acting so weird. Yeah, she's just playing it slow. We'll, we'll stay alive. Let's get our health back up through passive. I'm gonna hit six first for sure. She burns her ignite. It's not a bad time to reset. She can only push the wave so quickly. First item back. Pickaxe really good. You really wanna get iron spike whip. So I'll go ahead and stay. I don't think she's gonna be able to kill me. I'm healing up really quick through passive. Iron spike lets us just QE iron spike, get our phase rush. She doesn't have electrocute, so I don't think she can burst me necessarily. I do have to leave though. She's kind of slowly poking me down. I can afford iron spike. She's going to push the wave slow. The sad thing is, is if I could just get six here, I think I could actually kill her. I just missed XP from that though. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I should get six first. I miss XP from a few minions there, backing all the way up. All I need is six. One minion, I think. QEW and the R, down she goes. It's all about waiting for six. If we can make six without dying, it is smooth sailing because Garen's so tanky and hard to actually kill. If you are up against a champion with ranged auto attacks, you should definitely go second wind. Second wind's a lot better than uh, conditioning overgrowth against ranged champs. Second wind plus D shield healing plus passive healing synergize really well. I think he just froze my wave. What a turd bag. Okay, we've got iron spike, we've got boots. Uh, I guess we'll just pick up longsword, head back the lane. What a turd. His box stopped the wave from crashing. It feared and soak damage this lane's only going to get harder for kata she basically had to squeeze out a kill for all those ganks she got she didn't squeeze out a kill she's going to struggle more and more my silence and spin cycle we could freeze it against her let's get our word down in the sweet spot where we can see the support roams and jungle ganks we're actually down cs right now Let's get the iron spike whip in a better slot. There we go. I prefer it in item slot three. I don't have R, so we don't want to take an all in trade to the death necessarily. Unless I'm able to cancel her R immediately. Got her to jump back. That's solid. She is starting to miss more CS. Since we are uh, kind of keeping her back in a way. We'll hit that with a Q. She's trying to bounce that to my backline minion there. I don't. I think she's going to go in when Shaco comes back. I think she... She's just going to be really patient here. Since I'm maxing Q last, it's not the easiest to even get to her. She also went tier 1 boots. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, okay, we're up a decent amount of CS now. We're actually up a whole wave in terms of last hits. Got my W down for the damage reduction. Every point in Q now is going to help us close distance. Against a champion like Kata, Q max first might have been a bit better. But in general, E max first is best, so you can power shove waves in a lot of challenging matchups. I can poke you from range like a... Zerath or a Lux. All right, it's pushed. No clue where this Shaco's at. All right, the way he's pushing to me. We'll just be patient here. I don't know where he's at. My whole comp's crap because I went Garen mid. My team was not happy about it. Q into E. I'll use W here. Hit her with Iron Spike. Yeah, that, that was not the prettiest trade, not gonna lie. We used the Iron Spike late so we didn't get the Phase Rush speed up. Have to use that for your three strikes. She's trying to hit me to stop my passive. I'll walk towards my minions. She feels like she can bounce a dagger. I'm not going to give it though. Oh, I took a turret shot. Q. Couldn't get the rest of it. Got her flash. She, oh, she actually got in range. Is she faster than me? No, I'm faster than her. I don't know how she was able to catch that. I'm going to put one in Q. I want to get to her. I'm going to kill her for cannon. Yeah, you miss cannon, you scumbag. G shield heals us more the lower in health we are whenever she hits us. Passive kicks in, and we are chilling. She's not going to do it unless Shaco's here. All 
Oh man, she got the bounce on that one. That's rough. Chico's bot side. We just can't get to her is the thing. Spin it down. Spin to win. If we can't get to her, we can't get to her. That's all right. We can wait for stride breaker. It's a huge power spike for us. Give it the QE. No clue where he went. Oh, there he is. Might actually be able to kill with the Q flash R. Want to kill a cat. I know she doesn't have flash. Get her with the iron spike and the R down she goes. <laughs> the help plays, am I right? Gotta remember to use iron spike if you want to actually be able to use your phase rush. I don't think we're, we can kill him, but I would like to get a play. I'll hit him with a QE. Oh, I hit him there. <laughs> Almost killed him. It's time to reset. It's an AP Shaco. AP Shaco was nerfed, I'm pretty sure. I think it box got nerfed this patch or last patch. I can afford stride break. Game's over. We made it to stride break. We're level 6 plus with stride. Haven't died. That is Garen's win con. Stride breaker is the same thing as... as uh, Iron Spike, except way better. It's a slow, and you don't have to stand still to use it. With Iron Spike, you have to stand still to use it, which makes it uh, harder to stay on top of them. But since we do have Phase Rush, it shouldn't matter too much either way. We can QE, use our activatable damage item, and get Phase Rush immediately. Oh, that's annoying. That Shaco box is so troll. Back to playing it slow, psych. I'm not playing this lane anymore. This is a big waste of time. We're just gonna take the wave and roam. The big E. There's no reason to just sit there and do that. We can take Raptors. We can uh, just find a big roam. This is all control warded. Auto in the queue. I ran past two. There's one over there as well. We at least have that knowledge. So cat are kind of half roams. You're dead. Go to stride break QE. So we're on phase rush. Auto into R. Close fight, well played. That's why you take ghost. Ghost having ghost on Garen mid's awkward for the first five levels, but once you have R, it makes sense. We can chop him down and then hit him with an R. So we're trying to get away. This is where she falls behind in CS. It's perfect. Cancel the E. Auto into Q. Can I roam bot lane? Man, they're strong. They're fed. Imagine that. <laughs> My team of bot APC isn't pulling through. I'll go ahead and take the Raptors. Garen has bonus damage against monsters on his E. Monsters also don't cancel your passive, so we can heal through their damage super brainlessly. We don't even have to think about it. It's time for them to lose this. They can't have this here. Way too long this has been up. And uh, apparently that was Shaco's because he just relayed it. With an auto E. I'm down to reset. We're sitting on tier two boots. Typically you go for Berserks, but you can go for Plated. Against their team, I don't know if Plated would make a lot of sense. Kel has Wits End. Why would they lane swap? Man, if only my Ghost was up. She'd be a goner. She has uh, tier one boots. Oh, yeah, I couldn't cut her off in time. I can Q through the slow, go to stride break, QE. She doesn't even have R. That was free. Holy moly. 
The stride breaker itself outranges all of your attacks to where we can use that while we're in the middle of running at them, slow them down and get on top. It's the most consistent way to get on top, assuming they're trying to escape. Oh, you just got a dark harvest stack off that. That's lame. I think we can carry this game. Mm, why would we fight this? I'm almost dead. We don't even know which Shaco is the right one. That is not worth. Absolutely not. Oh well. It's reset time. I'm gonna go sit on the split. My bot lane's done playing bot lane because they lost their turret. They can't play there safely anymore. So what we want to do is grab our tier twos. It's gonna be berserks, and then we'll go for our hole breaker. We'll grab the movement speed part, and then we'll grab the long sword control ward. We can completely take over this game. The only split pusher who can match you, I'd say, is for the most part Nasus. Even against Jax, you don't do too bad because you're E. Like, Jax has to be pretty fed to take on <coughs> that Garen. Particularly because we got kills in lane. Not much a Kata can do, an Irelia, a Kali, and a Furry. Garen mid lane is a huge counter pick to the majority of the mid lane roster right now. Just don't, pe just don't play him against LeBlanc or Malzahar. Those are pretty unplayable. Two of them are dead, two of them are mid. Yeah, they lose turret. This is why you go Berserks. You can hack and slash. QE stride break. We need to get down a semi-deep ward here. We're gonna die if they send three or more people. <clears throat> against two of them, we should be able to escape, but against three, oof, that's gonna be hard. Trying to stop me from taking these, what the heck. Might be able to get around her if she pushes up a bit. I'll lay this right here. She's gonna ward and she'll try to break it. She just assume I left. Get the stride break, QE. Auto into R, goodbye. I don't know if she had R, <laughs> but my R is better. <laughs> Q flash E, got on my W stride break. Oh, that box is, that box, dude, come on. I didn't even see it. That sucks. At least it went to Morgana. Out of all the people it could have gone to, like that's the best case scenario for who could have gotten the gold. Is Morgina. We got stride break, we got the uh, hole breaker now. We're cooking. There's nobody they can send to match my power. Garen is a slow cooker. Early games, just farm. Against certain matchups, you have to power push with Emacs. Against Cat, we could basically do whatever we want because the matchup's so free. We could kind of freeze it on or we could just push it. I think it would have been better if we pushed it more once it was clear she was no longer willing to fight us because at some point, I forget when, it was clear. She just would only throw max range cues poke me get some farm but she was certainly not looking to fight us anymore at, at a certain point and uh, once you get to that point you just power push power push with e and leave go roam it's exactly what we tried to do there's two control wards like i said i should have roamed out a bit earlier this game i'll be taking this auto into Q. Why are there so many control words? I don't know what she thinks she's doing. Auto, auto into Q. Q's an auto reset. We get the ward. Weird fight going on over there. Some people are trying to give up. Very strange. Oh, that's a fake one. You turd. I need to get on the split. There's no reason for me to be grouped. Diana has thrown her gold lead big time. She had all the kills on her team and she squandered it. Q stride break. I should have W'd there. Didn't realize I was going to get turbo CC'd. We might have to pick up a Sterics this game with how much CC they have. I'll Q away. I have some vision. 
Got my W on. I might actually just die here. No, we're chilling. I live. I'm faster than her. I have Hole Breaker. She doesn't have another source of movement speed. I think she burned her Ignite for that. I don't know if she flashed. <clears throat> I'm healing so fast. 60 health per second. My goodness. I could stay. Like, for real. Oh, well, I was going to take those. Come on now. How'd Santa lose all of her health? Yeah, we can do it. I could just solo Kata. Oh, jeez. What? This isn't quite a solo fight now, is it? QEW. Auto in the R. Close fight. A lot of counter potential there for her. <laughs> That's hilarious. She got absolutely smoked. Big Daddy Garen's here to carry. I don't like this. They're going to kite me out. The thing is, I'm already missing so much health that I don't have that buffer I need to close the distance. So I'll go back onto the split. I'll reset when I can afford a full item because as it is, I can already solo really anybody. I'd say in a lot of ways, Garen is just a better version of Olaf right now. Garen is uh, tankier for the most part. Unless Olaf's just getting to auto for free a bunch of melee tramps his life still so garen's tankier he's faster with his q speed up and your r true damage is freaking tasty big execute it's hard for people to comprehend how much damage it actually does you can do like over a thousand true damage with it if the person has enough hp and they're missing enough hp there's a spider crawling on the wall right now and i don't know what spider that is Whenever it's a brown spider that's kind of skinny, it sketches me out because of the brown recluse. We could get her with a uh, with an auto Q. She loses turret. All right, you lose turret. My whole breaker makes minion tanky, and it gives minion and me more damage against turrets. My teammates are spam pinging the crap out of each other. That's why I have to carry so hard this game. Q, stride break, E, and we're phase rushed away, baby. Beautiful thing about activatables. Auto Q. Please don't steal this from me. Oh, I almost lost it. <laughs> that would've sucked. Why is Kel even over here? Why didn't she stay with the wave? Like, obviously they want Baron, but like, why is she rotating? I don't have a ward, that kind of sucks. She might have warded this, ooh. I think this is a kill. I should have held on to my Q until after she slowed. Q, E, stride break. I popped my W at a really bad time. I flashed for her flash. She, I think she needs her flash more than I do, to be honest, because I have ghost. She has TP. Uh, we'll be patient. We need them to spread out a little bit. I'm the furthest one up on the map right now. And they're already in the area, so they're more likely to kind of converge on me. I'm not going to use my stride break to push the wave. My E does way more damage, and I need stride break to effectively apply phase rush without having to auto QE. I can just QE stride break, which is perfect because my Q is a speed up. So I'm going to Q regardless. In this kill, I need to hold on to my Q until she slows me. Cause that's slow she threw, even though I was sped up, the speed up didn't do a whole lot. With my hole breaker here, she can't kill my minion. There's no way. My minion has almost 200 extra armor and magic resist. Like, how is she gonna kill it? Like she, they can't send Morgana to match me. These guys are crazy. I'm gonna beat their turret down. I'm gonna smash it. QEW. Uh, all right. Maybe, maybe I was a little cocky there. She ignites me. I'm tanking the turret. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Waste my ghost. Most important thing is we stayed alive. And we can maintain the pressure. She goes mid now. She get, wow. She actually got a shutdown. I might actually be able to take a piece out of this. Auto into Q, not even close. Yeah, he got a little chunk out of it. 
Sitting on 4k gold, it's probably best to reset here. They're all respawned as well. There's going to be somebody here to block. And I'd say we go Phantom for the speed up. Then we'll go for this. Uh, I mean, they are pretty magic damage heavy. I guess I should go magic resist realistically. Really, really fast. I love the movement speed on Phantom Dancer. It's a bit more consistent than Dead Man's, I'd say. And once you're in combat as well, you get 7% more movement speed and a bunch of attack speed. The more attack speed you have, the more damage your spin does. The more spins you get. I don't really need Black Cleaver. They don't have a tank. Ooh, this is warded. I don't think I can do anything about this situation. I have to. I should just push the wave. That's my bad. I forgot the state of our team at the moment. Like, as a team, their bot lane's putting out too much power. Get a little ward down. They all want to fight for dragon. It's not worth losing an inhib for dragon unless it's Sol, and we still get it. Nice. They're greeting for that situation. We could team fight, but I do have hole break. How did he land that? All right, Q stride break, E, and the R. Close fight. Very cool. <laughs> You're in mid so stupid. <laughs> it's just so broken. If you can manage to stay alive. What was his counterplay? <laughs> basically, he basically just had to back up and throw out max range Qs. I think that's it, man. That's all these guys wrote. I have hold breaker to smash turrets with. My minions are turbo tanky. Auto into Q. Yeah, that's it. GG's. Teammates were absolutely not happy about my pick and champ select. People still aren't used to seeing Garen mid, even though it's broken right now. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> They're doing no damage. <laughs> Old breaker OP. Let's look at the charts. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we weren't the highest in the game, but we were certainly high. I need to kill this spider real quick. Hold on. The spider has to die. Take no pleasure in it, but well, maybe a little bit of pleasure. Oh, amount of pleasure with him not crawling on my legs. All right, damage taken. We took quite a bit. Number two in the game. A lot of people took similar amount. Self mitigated. I think we'll be the highest. So I'm talking about baby. That's what armor gets you. Armor magic resist. We got a little bit, little shield on our W as well. Damage reduction on it. Diana has her W shield spam. And for runes high value. All in all, Garen mid, extremely strong. You just need to figure out when to push, when not to push. And you're basically going to be pushing all the time with your Emacs. And uh, yeah, make it to level 6. Huge power spike. Get stride breaker. Enormous power spike. You Q, stride break them. Then you hit them with your Q, then E, then R. Very simple. If you guys enjoyed this Garen video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.